Did you know your Android phone's camera has hidden settings that allow it to be always on, always spying on you, seeing what you're doing, maybe taking photos or videos? I'm gonna walk you through all of these settings because unfortunately, a lot of these settings are turned on by default and you need to manually turn them off to help protect your privacy. I'll walk you through all of that, but first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is head into the settings app of your Android phone. So let's swipe up from here and then open up that settings app right there. You might need to swipe around to find it, but once you do, open it up. Now we need to get to your camera settings first. So let's scroll down until we find the section that says apps here, midway down, tap on that. And now we just need to find camera. You can either tap on search at the top of here or just swipe down until you find camera and tap on that. The first thing we will look at is the permissions that it has access to. So tap on your permissions and you'll see, interestingly, your camera has permission to access, for example, your location while it's using it. It has access to your microphone, nearby devices, notifications, photos, and videos. If you don't want it to have access to any of those things, you can always switch it to don't allow. Keep in mind, the camera might use your location to geotag, but every time I open up the camera, I don't necessarily want it to track my location. Let's also tap at the top right those three dots and hit all permissions. Now this is pretty interesting because this shows you all of the actual permissions your camera has. And some of them, I don't know, I don't feel super comfortable with. For example, my camera has access to the full network of my phone, all the Wi-Fi, mobile networks that I'm connected to, all of that. In addition to that, if you scroll down, you can see your camera has access to run at startup. And it says allows the app to have itself started as soon as this system has finished booting up. AKA, whenever you start your phone, it has access to start the camera as well. These are interesting permissions that I don't feel super comfortable with. And let's walk through some steps to turn them off. So let's go back one and then back again. Now we're in the camera sections still, and we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and you can see change system settings. Let's tap on that. Now within the change system settings, you can see allow permissions. This allows this app, the camera app, to change your system settings. I don't feel comfortable having my camera app do that. I want to personally be able to change those system settings myself. So I would recommend turning that feature off. Now, after you've done that, let's go back one and you'll be able to see a bunch of other things associated with your uh, camera settings. The first thing that we'll do after that is to hop out here because we're gonna open up the camera itself. Now, if I open up the camera and let's say I take a photo and I hop out of here, you'll notice that the camera app is still open and it might be accidentally open if you tap on those three lines at the bottom left. You can see there is that camera app still open on my Android phone. Now you could always swipe to close it out, but keep in mind it's basically a fail-proof way if you forget to do that, you can always just prevent it from running in the background and taking any kind of photos or videos in the background. So to do that, let's swipe up again and go to your settings. Now, we're still in the camera section of your settings. If you need to go back here, just again, scroll down to apps and then the camera. Now within the camera settings, let's scroll down and you'll be able to see battery. Now this seems harmless, right? It allows the camera to use your battery, but you can see unrestricted. If it's set to this, it allows this app to use the battery in the background without any restrictions. Again, I want to restrict the camera app to just when I specifically want to use it. So I'm gonna hit this restricted. It says restrict the battery usage while the app is running. And you can see it may not work as expected. So I would recommend to tapping that, or you can choose optimize if that doesn't basically work with some of the apps that you're using, but make sure you do not have it set to unrestricted. 
Now let's go back to the very beginning of your settings here because we want to check to make sure there aren't apps that are using your camera without your permission. Now we've taken care of those battery or the camera rather settings. We want to make sure that we take care of the settings for third party apps. So from the beginning of your settings, we're going to scroll down until we get to security and privacy. Tap on that. Now from security and privacy, let's scroll down again and you can see permissions used in the last seven days, including my camera. Tap on that and make sure in the last seven days is checked instead of last 24 days. We want to see what has used your camera recently. So tap on camera here and you can see, okay, today the camera was used while using the app and WhatsApp was using it. And I can scroll down and see more on any of these and it will show me exactly when the camera was used. But you can see in this instance, yesterday it was used repeatedly over and over. Now, if you don't necessarily recognize any of these usage, I would recommend going to that specific app that has used your camera and change the settings. We're gonna tap on those three dots at the very top right here. And then you can see, I can also tap on show system apps and you can see various apps that have used my camera. You can see smart face services use my camera at 9.43 AM. We're gonna tap on those three dots again and hit it, manage apps with permission. Again, we're gonna tap on those three dots at the top right because this doesn't show you every app. It doesn't show you the system apps. We're gonna hit show system apps. This shows you every single app that has access to your camera, including apps that are just system apps. So for instance, there are strange ones on here like Factory Camera and Samsung Call Media and Shell and Smart Switch and Smart, Smart Face Services, all of these that I don't necessarily recognize what they are. Now on any of these that you don't necessarily want to have access to, you can always tap on it and remove access. Keep in mind at the very top where it says allowed all the time, no apps should be in there. So if you do see an app in allowed all the time that will have access to your camera, no matter what, make sure you deny permission for that. But otherwise you can go in here and let's say, I don't want WhatsApp access to my camera. Instead of allow only while using the app, I can switch it to ask every time. This means for any app, if you set it to ask every time, when you open up that app and it wants to use your camera, it will ask you for permission first, and then you can say, okay. So this will prevent your camera from being used just in the background by all of these apps, which is super important to help protect your privacy. I hope this helps. If it did, again, hit the subscribe button down below. That's the best way you can say thank you. Thank you.